Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of The Great Wall. So they handed out these awesome keychains at my screening, as well as this pretty legit shirt and that poster. So it was a fun screening experience. They're really going all out to try and promote this movie at the screenings. And I have to say, I really enjoy the Chinese artwork. The fact that they're putting the big Chinese letters behind the words, the Great Wall, and everything from this little keychain to the back of this shirt. I just, I'm really into that. And I have to say, the embracing of the Chinese culture and the majority of the Chinese actors was a pleasant surprise for me when I actually got into the film. I completely anticipated this being a white savior movie and it had elements of white savior but ultimately that wasn't really a big problem and it's not the reason this movie falls into meh category but we'll get to that in a second. So by far my favorite character in the film was played by Jing Tian who was one of the commanders in the film. I thought she was awesome. Her character was badass without being too, like, in-your-face, badass woman type stereotype. But I thought she played her character really well, and I kind of just wish we had even more time with her and we got to see more of her skill set. I think Matt Damon, for his acting part, mostly did well. He was putting on this very, very strange accent. I don't know where he was trying to come from with that accent. Um, but when it came to just kind of stoic, awesome action star, Matt Damon definitely pulled that off. You can see the nuances in his performance. So overall, good work from our two main leads. Also, I just loved the world building that went on in this movie. I really loved this take that this is one of the legends of why the Great Wall of China was built in the first place. And then I just loved the scenes where they kind of fleshed out how this Chinese army prepared and how they came ready for war. I love that there were different like factions within the army that all had their own purpose. They were like, color coded. Their uniforms were awesome. I thought all of the costuming work in this movie was pretty legit. Some of them verged on costumey, but for the most part their armor was just sick. And I just loved the weaponry both held by the humans and that came from within the wall itself. It was amazing. I thought the creature designs were also really cool. I had a couple of problems with the CGI that I'll get to in a second, but the way the creatures looked and interacted, and when they were done individually, I thought they looked very good. And in the end, I actually think this movie was very, very respectful and nice to the Chinese culture. I think they brought in fantastic traditions. They didn't all speak English. Only a couple of them actually spoke English and it made sense. There was an explanation as to why they were able to speak it. Meaning there are a ton of subtitles here because most of the dialogue that happens between the Chinese characters is in Mandarin. So I loved that they stuck true to that and it, again, it made it feel much more authentic. But I also loved that they paid so much homage to the Chinese culture. It wasn't super westernized. And it wasn't just the white guy coming in and showing everyone how it's done. It was more of a collaborative effort. It was him having his eyes opened to this entire new world, this entire new concept, and this idea of trust that was kind of portrayed as lacking when it came to Western civilization here. So this film does have an Asian director, which is awesome, and they actually list out even the more minor Asian characters, full-fledged, great spot in the ending credits, which I also thought was really, really nice. So I'm glad to see a nice merger of American and Chinese box office in a big budget film like this. Another thing I loved was the score. I thought it just added to so much epicness and action. It was kind of generic blockbuster score, but I thought it was utilized very, very well. The only thing I kind of wish there had been a little bit more Chinese influence in the sounds that we received, but the score was just epic. So as for the negatives in the film, first of all, I think the CGI work was patchy. 
sometimes it looked fantastic. Like the 3D looked cool as things were flying out and the beasts looked awesome when you were up close with them and just kind of dealing with them one-on-one. -on -one. But a few of them were kind of just horrible, actually. First of all, whenever they showed the wall, especially, especially in the beginning montage, it looked horrible. Like it looked like video game level. It was so bad. And then whenever they showed the big shots of all of the beasts like running, it looked pretty bad as well. Just a bunch of CGI nonsense where you couldn't really even tell what was going on. Also, I don't want to give away the ending, but the way the battle ends was just stupid. Like, it made no sense. You were like, really? Is this how we're going to do things? Well, okay then. I also wish we had more female characters. There was an entire section of female warriors, and it was logistically sound why that entire branch was nothing but females. But I wish that that wasn't the only captain that was female in the ranks. I wish that we had females that were more identifiable in the other sections of this, like, militia. I wish we had other females who actually spoke or had a part other than our main lead. I also thought that Willem Dafoe was really bad. Like, I thought he was overacting and just not good in this movie at all. So overall, The Great Wall isn't a disaster by any means, but it's definitely not great. I think it's a perfectly serviceable, dumb action movie. You just turn off your brain. It looks pretty enough. And again, those beautiful armors and those different colors and the awesome fighting techniques are maybe worth the price of admission at a movie theater alone, but definitely, definitely make it a matinee. This isn't worth a full price ticket, but it's an all right action movie and it's not nearly as offensive as the marketing makes it out to be. So, that is my review of The Great Wall. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below, and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see The Great Wall? And what is your favorite creature invasion movie? Let me know either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!